Welcome to the Bronto YouTube channel. Today, I'll tell you about the design, operation, modes, usage and settings of the Bronto Oil Press RP500. This information will help to provide reliable oil press operation over many years. The oil press is constantly improved and modified to meet client demands. That's why some non-major changes in its design might not be represented in this video. Let's get started with the operation requirements. The room for the oil press installation must be equipped with a ventilation system. The oil press must be equipped with forced exhaust ventilation for steam extraction. No hazardous substances emit while the oil press is operating. A magnetic separator must be installed in front of the oil press hopper. The oil press base plate should be earthed. Make sure you check the earth connection regularly. Caution. Never push raw material into the inlet hopper by hand or with any foreign objects. Never remove foreign objects while the oil press is operating. The oil press must be stopped as soon as any fault is detected. Never clean the outlet hole while in operation. Never run the oil press without a safety guard. Immediately stop the oil press if an emergency situation appears during the operation. Stop the drive motor with the stop mushroom button. Never switch the press's motor to reverse mode, either to discharge the product from the press or for any other reason. The Oil Press RP500 is designed for pressing vegetable oil from oil crops, rapeseed and sunflower, known as a first extraction press. It is operated indoors at a temperature of 5 to 40 degrees centigrade and 80% humidity at 25 degrees. The Oil Press consists of the following 11 main units. The base. This welded construction is a support unit for oil press assemblies. It's installed on a plane level surface on the floor or on concrete foundation with inclination not greater than five millimeters per meter. There should be a free space of at least one meter near the oil cake discharge. The drive consists of a gear motor which is fixed on a screw shaft. The bearing assembly is a support for the screw shaft. The feeding assembly this is designed to supply the raw material into the pressing cage. The hopper is designed for feeding raw material into the oil press. At the top of the hopper, there are two inspection windows. At the bottom of the hopper, there is a gate which is used to regulate the feed of raw material. The pressing assembly consists of flat bars, lamellae, set with clearances for oil drainage. The clearances are different in size and created by spacers. The safety guard is a structural steel plate with sidewalls that could be quickly dismantled. It has a front cover that provides access to adjust the clearance for meal discharge. The adjustment nozzle is designed to adjust the thickness of the meal and create a great pressure of product in the pressing assembly for normal oil drainage. The screw shaft is a construction that consists of shaft, screws fixed on the shaft, bushing, knives for crushing the meal, and protective washers for bearings protection. Configuration of screws and bushings is different for rapeseed and sunflower processing. The front support is designed to hold the pressing assembly during operation. The control cabinet must be in a position which allows the operator to control the general technological process. It should be powered by copper wires not less than 35 mm squared in size. How to set up the oil press. Pre-operation stage. First, check grease availability in the bearing assembly. If there's no grease, add it. Now check the screw shaft rotation. The right shaft rotation is clockwise in accordance with the arrow on the motor surface. The number of screws and bushings depends on the raw material being pressed. In this particular case, we have a configuration for rapeseed processing. Here, we've assembled the screw shaft according to raw material type. The pressing assembly is a set of flat bars, lamellae. To allow oil discharge from the pressing zone, each lamella is installed with a gap. All lamella are the same, but each is marked with a serial number. This is done to facilitate assembly of the package and control the gaps. For the formation of the gaps, spacers are used. Adjustment for each particular raw material has its own gap size values. Now we install the sidewalls of the safeguard with the help of three screws, 
We take the adjustment nozzle to the extreme open position. The adjustment nozzle has on its cylindrical surface two marks indicating the extreme open and extreme closed positions, which create the maximum pressure at the pressing assembly. Check the magnet catcher protection. Check the nuts fastening onto the screw shaft. Also, the lamellae fixing nuts on the pressing assembly near the inspection cover. Now, we'll run a short idle start, no more than one minute, to make sure the press is operating properly and that there are no extraneous sounds. How does it work? The operation stage. First, shut off the hopper gate. Energize the control cabinet. Visually monitor the voltage. Switch on the drive motor. Set the minimum screw shaft rotation. Feed raw material into the hopper. Gradually, open the gate to 10% of the fully open position and check the load degree on the motor. Raw material is supplied into the feeding assembly. The screw transports the raw material to the pressing assembly. As the cavity screw diameter increases, the raw material volume is reduced. This leads to compression and deconstruction of seeds. High pressure in the pressing assembly improves the process of seed compression, warms the mass and leads to oil extraction. Oil flows into the oil setting tank, which is formed by elements of the oil press's frame. Then, the oil moves through the bottom pipe to a system for oil collecting. Meal continues its way through the pressing assembly and outputs through the adjustment nozzle. It's crushed with knives and removed from the oil press into the meal transportation system. Increase screw shaft rotation and slowly bring the press to the chosen productivity. After the pressing unit reaches operating temperature, 60 to 80 degrees centigrade, open the gate completely and increase screw shaft rotation to maximum. Recommended mode, 38 to 42 hertz. After reaching the selected capacity, start gradually fastening the adjustment nozzle, checking the load degree on the motor. You can do it by fastening three screws 0.5 to one turns alternately. Never fasten the adjustment nozzle further than the mark which indicates the closed position, or looser than the mark which indicates the open position. After that, check the load on the electric motor and the availability of feedstock in the hopper. The oil press operation requires monitoring of the following values. Drive motor load, feed material temperature and moisture, meal shell thickness, bearings temperature. How to stop the oil press. Prepare a mix of 10 kilograms of sunflower and 2.5 kilograms of water. Stop raw material feeding and wait until the oil press has fully discharged the meal. Withdraw the adjustment nozzle to its maximum open position. Gradually, feed the prepared mixture into the feed hopper. Switch off the oil press after the mass is discharged. Now you know more about the RP500 design, pre-operation, startup, how to operate and stop this machine. I hope this video was useful to you and wish you success with the Bronto Oil Press RP500.